Someone here sells sugar, someone here sells tea leaves, someone here sells fish. You know somebody who knows somebody who would need the fish. So through the rest of this month, I would want you to shine the light. Make it your business to shine somebody's light. At a certain point of time, you are going to be asking yourself, how is this story resonating to me? You are walking out of this room with so much, but it has to be to resonate to you. What is the common ground with the, the speaker? Bwana Daudi. Karibu sana. My name is Daudi Otenanguka. I'm a filmmaker based in Mombasa. I am the CEO of AR Films Production. Our company is just here near opposite Nyali Cinemax. My job is to create stories. That's, that's what I do. Na nimezaliwa Mombasa hapa kwa she kwa she kwa she primary. So baada hapo tuka toka tukaenda kuishi place inaitwa Bondo kuna kuishi bondo babangu sikujua nini na happen tulivyoenda bondo na mamu nikaona dada amerudi Mombasa so sisi tukabaki a place inaitwa bondo na una hizo time nakumbuka alikuwa kuna communications hakuna simu utapigia nani na tukaketi na mamu na Jumamo alikuwa ni mtu wa biashara akaamua kufungua bondo kuja ipi kwa sambusa by the way kila sambusa mimi usikia raha yeye ndio mtu wa kwanza alianzisha kutengeneza sambusa bondo So alipanda kutengeneza sambusa akaona okay natengeneza sambusa kila siku akipeleka sokoni na ilikuwa ifiki watu wengi na kuna my bigger brother akaanza mtuma aende aanze kuhok sambusa so akakuwa kazi yake ni kuhok sambusa then mimi nilikuwa na sari baada ya class 1 class 2 pia mimi nikapewa hiyo kazi so pia mimi kuanzia class 2 nikaingilia kazi ya mama ambaye alikuwa ni kuhok sambusa so after hiyo to class 5 nika come back to Mombasa baba yetu akaja akatuchukua nikarudi Mombasa. Tulivorudi Mombasa nikaingia shule. Kuingia shule nikaingia mikindani primary which ilikuwa niliingia class 5. So nikaenda kusoma up to class 8. Baada ya class 8 now hakuna pesa kunipeleka mimi secondary. Kwa ajili ya nini? My bigger bro amemaliza form 4 na amepata B+. Plus. Na mimi Daudi nimepata mark 280 marks. So dada kushughulika kwa wa fight zaidi sana bro wangu aende shule nakumbuka paka hiyo siku anafanywa mchango mimi ndo nilikuwa MC kwa mchango ya bro wangu mimi hata sikumbuki kama nitaenda shuleni kazi yangu ilikuwa hiyo time ni kuwa napenda kucheza karata ilikuwa napendea kitu sana so most of the time ndapata ni kwa mtaani na kucheza karata na tafuta pesa za 20 bob 30 bob 50 bob nikiwa home so baada hapo nikatravel up to home bay nikafanya form 1 form 2 then i came back to Mombasa Oya nilifanya form 4 yangu. Baada ya kumaliza form 4 nao, bro wangu bado masomo inaenda ikimsumbua. So nikajua then sina kitu kingine naweza fanya but nikiwa form 3 nilikuwa drama, form 4 nilikuwa drama na nilikuwa mimi ni eh, main cast katika drama. So most of the time nilikuwa kama form 3 nilipata best actor, then form 4 pia nikapata best actor. So after hapo kitu ambacho najua naweza fanya mimi ni acting. So nilipomaliza form 4 kaketi na mamu tukaanza choma sambusa mandazi half cake then nikaona mamu anatengeneza half cake tamu kila mtu yaipenda nikamwambia mamu kama watengeneza hizi half cake hizi half cake ni tamu i think to the supply so ile kitu fanye ni kuwa cuz you have the capital and pika nyingi then mimi nita supply kitu nitafanya nipatie paketi moja nizunguke nayo miki ndani nzima niambie watu vile za fake zako ziko tamu so nikachukua paketi nikaanza tembea mikindani polepole nenda kwa duka tupiga story na wapata jamaa anja sema hii ni tamu kesho leta mbili hebu kesho leta moja nikazunguka nikazunguka so baada hiyo form 4 ilikuwa na rafiki yangu cuz nakumbuka one of my best friend alikuwa anapata A kwa class cuz nakumbuka baada hapo mimi nilipata C plan so jamaa pia kwa kwao kwa ni maskini na alikuwa ni rafiki yangu namjua nikamwambia baraka tuweza supply yake au jamaa kuja ile kanambia daudi tuweza supply cuz yeye alikuwa apata A lakini expectation zake ndani pepo mtiani kisha atapata A akupata A. Alienda akapata C+ so alikuwa na frustrations nyingi sana kwa life yake hata kuliko mimi ambako anafikiri anaweza repeat. Kwake kwa ya feel like life imeisha. Yonaambia Daudi cuz nakumbuka hiyo time to supply Africa niambia Daudi nitapataje C+ naambia lakini sio ni nzuri. Yonaambia mm. <laughs> Naambia hiyo ni nzuri. Yonaambia like siziamini Daudi mimi narudi tena kusoma. Kaambia bro uko serious unarudi kusoma? 
mimi kamwambia ah sasa mimi sijui mimi sijui kama nikirepeat nitapata simple ama nitapata chini zaidi ya hiyo bache waamini kuwa akirepeat atapata eh hey. so nikamwangalia nikasema huu baraka yuko serious nataka kuendelea kusoma kwa sababu jamaa kwa kazi yake kwa class ilikuwa nkuketi na kusoma sisi kazi yetu kwa class kwa nkuketi na kupiga kelele na kumbuka story ya afrika kikashika kumbuka hiyo time wakati wa supply afrika kulikuwa na auditions zimefanyika hapa Mombasa za talent academy za kupeleka watu msinde mliro ambao ni UNICEF ilikuwa ina sponsor hiyo course. So wakati nilienda uh, condition kapita baada kupita nakumbuka bado still ni kisupply afrika kinapata simu cause nilikuwa na kabambe na ni saa kumi na mbili na supply afrika kinaona simu nasema hii simu ni ya nani cause najua watu wote ambao wananipigia ni zile time uko namba kumi kwa simu. Wajua tu ah hii ni nani mtu ajaribu kunipigia halo halo So aka Arlo Nicola kanaambia Daudi uh, by kesho ina fault travel muende msinde mliro mmechaguliwa uh, Talent Academy Mombasa nzima tumechaguliwa watu watatu na katika watu watatu ni marafiki zangu wote tulikuwa nao drama ah, so kesho yake uh, nilivorudi nyumbani nikamwambia mamu nimechaguliwa na kuna ile pesa tulisikizana mimi ki supply kila siku nanipatia 100 100 saidi imefika pesa ngapi 1300 nipatie pesa yangu kesho na travel naenda Talent Academy. So tulifika Nairobi ilikuwa sina pesa nyingine. Jamaa tuambia kwenda paka Kamega ni 600 600. Ah, wale wa beshi zangu moja moja kuna pesa mwingine pia amepungukiwa. So nikamwambia mimi kuna aunt yangu hapa ana pesa. Ni, ni tajiri nasikia yeshi vizuri. Acha ni mcall kama za tusaidia. So nikimcall tu aunt yangu nakumbuka hiyo siku alivosikia tu pesa. Hakushika simu yangu tena na usiku yaingia. So ilibidi tuende mbio mbio tukamwambia uja maleta pesa yako yote tuiongeze kaongea na mtu mwingine hapo mmoja akatupandisha gari usiku tukielekea Kakamega. So tukifika Kakamega tukifika karibu saa tisa usiku. Tuogopa sote tujui tuenda wapi. Naambia eh jamaa hapa tushakufa sijui tuenda wapi. Tulikuwa na hiyo like boss tuenda wapi sisi wenyewe. Baada hapo tukaingia Talent Academy na kumbuka ilikuwa hapo msinde mliro tukapokelewa. Na ilikuwa ni course inaenda for 3 3 one year which 3 months then una break 3 months. So tukaingia ndo tukaanza kujua okay right now apart from acting we are going to learn more about film making which apart from stage play and the screen play scripting how to direct how to shoot how to edit so i, I was like okay so hizo times zote nimekuwa niki tuki struggle tuki tukisomea juu ya film which ni usinde mliro tukaenda first three months second three months the third month kenya vile tusema corruption watu wakakula pesa za unicef so walivotuambia pesa ishaliwa ikabidi nini aturudi tena kusoma then pia mimi sina kitu kingine kusoma kitu kingine naweza fanya nini ni ku direct stage plays So nikaanza kuandika scripts. Nikaanza kuandika scripts, nikipeleka kwa shule which ilikuwa Kajembe High School, nika direct my first play ambayo ilikuwa inaitwa Innocent Guilty. So nikaenda stage plays na direct. Hakuna kitu kingine naweza fanya, hiyo ndo naweza fanya. So kuna bishi changu mwingine tulikuwa naye rafiki yangu sana. Namwambia boss, njio tu direct. Naambia Daudi kazi gani hizi? Yeye daily kwa nyumbani wa lala tu. Daudi kazi gani hizi? Naambia angalia boss, hakuna kitu lakini watatupatia pesa ngapi? Anasema watatupatia 10,000. Eh ni nyingi lakini unaingoja 10,000 for four good months. Daily unakuja ukienda. So nika direct hiyo play na kumbuka nilishindwa hiyo time ilikuwa regionals. Nililia sana nilishika namba 4. Tuko kwa gari na una wanafunzi wote wananiangalia lakini mimi ndo nataka kulia kwa liko nikaenda nyuma na lia mwanafunzi mmoja akaniambia mwalimu usilie kutuliko sio ndio tumeshindwa. Asa ikabidi niamke naanza muangalia naambia hata mimi sili. So nimefuta machozi na angalia kila mtu analia huku kila mtu mweli. Kwa sababu watu kwa naamini Daudi right now lazima twende twende nationals. Nikasema okay tushashindwa tuwezi fanya kitu kingine. Tungoje paka next year. Yaona ubwa wa drama ni kuwa hiyo term ikikuja first term ni ku direct eh, ni kutengeneza plays until next year. So nikarejea back uh, nyumbani kuhasa bado kuchoma sambusa then nakumbuka kuna one of the filmmakers kwa ameandika play yake ya fa director hapo Kajembe hiyo time mimi sikuandika so alivyo come alikuwa ni filmmaker pia anaitwa Clifford so nikamwambia boss mimi nimefanya film how can you help me akaniambia boss eh hey, 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 Mombasa kama utakufanya filamu shida yako hii hey, hakuna pesa kwa hiyo kazi na <laughs> ujitolee kama utajitolea nikamwambia kiaje lakini si watu wanaona kwa tv watu wanalipwa akaniambia jaribu so after hapo nikasema okay acha mimi ni juvile nitafanya filamu na kesho yake nakumbuka one of my friend akakuja akasema kuna competition nikamwambia competition ya nini ya kufanya ya kutengeneza film kwa sababu hizi tuko tu home tusha learn juu ya ku edit juu ya ku direct but hatujaenda field sana tumekuwa tu tuko shule 
So alivyosema how much akanipa jamaa mtu wa kiwili anapo 100,000 anapela kwa South Africa. Na unatengeza tu movie ya only 3 minutes. Ah so kwa kilemu kasema eh hey, 3 minutes peke yake ni the South Africa. It was like ai hii ndio opportunity. So nakumbuka kuna one of the guys alikuwa na handicam hii camera. Nikaenda kwake nikamwambia boss una camera? Nipatie camera. Akanambia no Daudi camera ukitaka paka nikupatie 150 unipatie 150. Wana red and 50. Ah ngasema 150 ndato wapi nitakupatia 100 akakubali. So nikaenda ngatengeza short film bio bio vile nilifundishwa nikaenda ikuwa siyo ku edit sasa tulilala yeah. lakini sio naelewa vile unaweza toka shuleni lakini unajua ku edit. Nikasema ah siyo ku edit na competition ni uh, two days imebakia. So nikatafuta the same same guy aliniambia film ni ngumu nikamtafuta kambia boss tafadhali ni edit hii nitakuipeleka mali. Baada ya kumaliza ku edit nikamtafuta one of my friend aliniambia kuwa kuna hizi competition kuenda kwake anambia nini ah hii competition wajua kwa ninaenda online mimi niliona online ah then naambia so ndio niliambia kwa na kutokuletea then uh, kuna mali unapeleka then tunaenda competition then kafikira online tena kuenda kwa cyber jamani niambia cyber lazima nitoe 300 boss mimi na fea yangu kurudi mkindani so nikamwangalia yule nikamwangalia akasema mimi sina pesa huwezi kunisaidia tu niweze kuituma akasema iwezi paka uwe na 300 cuz hii kitu yako nina nini then nikaamua kurudi na movie yangu nyumbani ngakuwa naiangalia tu nyumbani so pole pole nikaanza shoot cuz ili ili inspire ili niweze ku shoot nilikuwa nikiona watu cuz naenda kwa one of my friend kwa ban movie namwekea naambia ah ume shoot movie Daudi ni naona unasikia raha then go like okay then i can do another movie niwaonyeshe tu asikia raha cuz kazi si ndio na mimi nasikia raha wakifurahia So nikaanza kutengeza short films, short films, short films. After hapo nikaipeleka one of the festival ilikuwa ni Coast Film Festival. Ikapata nomination uh, ya best film. Then baada hapo nikaitwa Job ambaye kaanza shoot TV series ambayo inaitwa Anti Boss Nairobi. Nakumbuka hiyo time nimefika Nairobi, watu wanashangaa nimefika sawajua ni Nairobi na mtu wa Mombasa vile ukija unajua tu ukiongea. Kwamba vipi boss? Ah huyu si wa huko huyu. So nimefika pale anti boss nimeitwa na huyo madam ambaye anaitwa Lucy na kumbuka time sahau alivuniita kaniambia Daudi kuna last time tulikuja na Mombasa kuna kazi tulipata kidogo ilifanya ilikuwa nzuri sana Now tunataka kupatia kazi for one month uh, are you available nikamwambia yes I'm available Now per day tutakuwa tunakulipa ile ile pesa tulikulipa which was 5000 per day eh na mimi unajua ilikuwa nyingi sasa kumwambia nikamwambia ah sawa vile umeamua mimi niko tayari kufanya kazi So 5000 times 30 days. Hiyo ni 100 and about 30 50000. So nakumbuka kwa rafengo anipigia simu tuko yuko mikindani ananiambia Daudi warudi kwa nikamwambia boss mimi sirudi. <laughs> eh akaniambia why are you not coming back? Nikamwambia boss I'm being paid 130000 for only one month. Ama mimi sirudi. So nipo mambe hivyo mimi nikabaki na Nairobi which I shot anti boss nika learn sana but problem moja ili happen na kumbuka ni shooting boss kuna time tupiga story nimeshika kamera cuz i was a cameraman mini cameraman wakati na shoot kamera ghafla kumbe si ku lock tripod na hizo kamera zimenunuliwa kwa ni bei gali sana amenua karibia 750000 nikiangalia hivi nikigeuka hivi kamera ishanguka ah na hiyo ni two days kumalizia kazi nikasema hapa mimi silipwi so it was like siyo nitafanya nini kitu mbaya ambalo nakumbuka nilifanya mtu watu ambao walinona alikuwa ni watatu nikamwambia boss kamera nzuri haijaribika but imepata scratch so mkisema saa hizi siyo itakuwaje mbona boss msiseme lakini kajua lazima itasemwa cuz wale watu mwishoe sote kazi ndio ilituleta pale na kamera lazima itajulikana vile imeharibika so nilikuwa hiyo siku kesho yake nimekuja na ogopa na sema boss wangu nikaenda kumwambia nikaenda kumwambia Lucy kuwa kamera imanguka atafanya nini atanikata pesa ama atanisamea So nilikuwa kwa dilemma ya 50-50 kuwa kunashindwa nikamwambia nini. So after hapo nikalipwa wish ilikuwa 130,000 na kumbuka hiyo time. Wakati natoka kuna one intern alikuwa ametoka KU, amefanya like, like film for about 4 years ya Farm Alize. Asijui afanya alikuwa afanya karibia masters. So nakumbuka hiyo intern hiyo siku yanifuata mimi nimepewa check ya 130,000. By the way pesa nyingi nimewahi kupewa akaniambia Daudi umpo pesa ngapi? Nikamwambia kwanza niambie umpo ngapi? Mimi nipo 5000 kama intern. Na yeye akamwambia umpo 5000. Nikacheka nikamwambia mimi nimepewa hii. Akaniambia ah! Ipo sote umepewa? Nikaogopa akasema huyu jamaa ataniibia nini? What I did? Hiyo time alivoniambia hivyo, nikaita pikipiki njoo. So nikapanda pikipiki yangu nikakimbia bank kwenda kuicheck. 
Kwa zilikuwa ni pesa kubwa nimepa uja mato kwa hiyo siku alinipigia simu siku nzima Daudi siamini sirudi kazi ya intern Nime, umesoma wapi kwanza wewe eh? <laughs> Mimi ni 4 years niko KU nasoma mambo fili alafu nilikuwa 5000 kwa zile ndio kwani nibebe ama tripod nini kaambia mimi so siku taka like uh, nikamwambia boss mimi so far tangu nianze kusoma mimi nimekuwa nikiwa sponsored sijailipa sijaitwa shilingi mamangu ajaitwa shilingi hata hajui nafanya nini aga yashangaa tu Daudi afanya kazi ambayo ailipwi kwa hiyo aga niuliza hii kazi ni nini ya nini nikiendelea nikafanya nao project yangu ambayo inaitwa zilizala kwa hizi zilizala nao nikajaribu kutafuta script writers cuz other short films ilikuwa mimi ndo naandika but nikagundua no i'm not a good script writer uh, i'm a very good cinematographer which job yangu ni ku shoot na inda can direct now kitu ambaye inamaanisha right now let me look for people who can help me cuz I alone I cannot do it. So I decided to look for script writers. Nikawaketisha two script writers kama mbaya want to do a very good story. Hii story nitaka ianze. Nakumbuka siku moja kwa natumwa na nyanyangu nikiwa bara yote mama ati anambia Daudi mate kikauka. Wewe usharudi. So nikasema story yangu nitaka ianze hivyo. Kwa sababu kwa nyanyangu nyanyangu hiyo time kwa natumwa sigara. Kwa kuta sigara sana. So most of the time yote mama ati nikasema story yangu nitaka ianze hivyo mtu akikimbia kikimbia kirudi nyanya itakufa. Now in between niko na beginning siko na sina middle na end now let us think about the middle of the story and the end of the story we sat down and discussed and uh, tukata ya yeah, tutafuta arc za stories tukajaribu ku share nikamwambia vile nahitaka story yangu iwe nataka kitu story zile za kawaida ambazo watu wanaziona mtu akiona ta relate nayo you see so we sat down and tukaandika hiyo story after hapo kuna one of my friend alikuwa yuko tayari kutusaidia tufanye hiyo story tukakaa tuka nika nikajaribu kutafuta watu from Nairobi boss nahitaji nili make sure ile kamera nahitaji ndio mimi nahitaji lights nahitaji as a cinematographer kwa inshallah na so after hapo jamaa akaamua kuni support and I, i decided to do my short film ambayo kwa zilizala nakumbuka ilikuwa na, natoka home mamangu anaambia Daudi unafanya hika unaenda kufanya nini mambia mama anaenda shoot kazi yako aye yeah, yeah, yeah. utanisumbua kwa sababu lazima nitakuja nimwambie mama una 10000 ama 5000 <laughs> You yogopa na kwa sambusa pesa kwa zapata nyingi ni 4000 per day. Akichangachanga kwa chama utashinga. Cuz kuna time yajua nikishajua cuz ni mamangu nikishakuwa ama naenda kati karibu na yeye najifanya na uzunisha. Ataniambia kuna pesa ya chama lakini itabidi nikupatie. Nilianza pole pole imefikia mahali I can win I can win 12 forwards. Ya maanisha nisha grow vizuri. Wale competitors I think your time company ilikuwa iko ilikuwa inaitwa Shina Pictures na imnas au ndo walikuwa ni watu wa kuna project wa kuna tv series na nini so project yao pia walileta na project yangu daily win awards karibia zote na ndio walikuwa like kwetu ndo kuna pesa Daudi usha grow njo kwetu nakumbuka siku nimeenda na babangu bongo kanambia Daudi hauna pesa wewe watu wamesema wale ndo wana pesa watakuchukua nikamwambia baba mimi siendi mimi na hustle kama mimi i have my own company nitajaribu ku push cuz wale jamaa wakinichukua ile siku kazi itaisha kwao sitakuwa na nje nyingine lakini wamesema wana pesa wanataka kuchukua kweli lakini era yake nilikuwa nimewin so many awards i lewi kwa jua pia juu filamu ni nini lakini nasema Daudi umeshinda watu kila siku wao wacheka kiwa nyumbani Daudi umeshinda watu vibaya sana ambia yani Daudi 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 so alikuwa na raha hiyo siku mpaka nakumbuka hajawahi enda festival ajaona watu watu wana wamevaa wame dress uh, red carpet nini and like Daudi yaitwa kila siku pale mbele alikuwa ilewi nini hapa lakini anambia baba ile movie mbona movie moja inachukua 12 hours anambia baba kuna different departments kwa hiyo movie. Kuna mtu ata direct lazima apewe award. Kuna mtu ata shoot, you see. So we did Zilizala which one? Then baada hapo nikapeleka MVCA ambao ni African Magic Viewers Choice Awards inafanyika Afrika nzima. Believe you me, siku hiyo kwa itakuwa even nominated. Nakumbuka hiyo siku nimetoka ku shoot tulikuwa Malindi kuna jamaa umetoka Asia Asian eh umetoka Asian countries huko ndo. Wamekuja tufanye job nilipomaliza ni usiku niko Mombasa town jamaa anipiga simu Daudi zilizala imekuwa nominated African Magic Viewers Choice Award Afrika nzima nilitoka mbio nikicheka hiyo time nakumbuka jamaa kwa hiyo time jamaa yote wa dollars yanipatia it was like around 200 dollars alikuwa imeongezea kwa ile pesa nilikuwa na sahau hiyo pesa paka niambia where are you going where are you going Nambia, ah nimejisahau cuz mimi na iskara nimepiga nimeenda kwa barabara ah, siamini cuz Mombasa hii Kenya hii ilikuwa hakuna mtu ashai win Mombasa kwanza. Nairobi kuna mmoja ashai win, but Mombasa nzima kuna mtu ashai kwa nominated na win. Na nakumbuka wakati tutatengeza hii project ni mwambia rafiki yangu believe you me, hii movie tunafanya saa hizi kipita hapa. 
tutaipeleka MVC na itawin na hiyo siku itawin nitakukumbusha so kanaimba Daudi niliambia hii movie itawin na tushakuwa nominated ya manisha anaenda kuwin na my uncle ni pasta ngambia uncle movie yangu imekuwa nominated akasema piga magoti yajua ipi ajui ni nini yajuta hizi movie nini nikaambia kama kawaida tu wajua watu wana believe uchawi iko si ndio wajua uchawi ni wengi sana kwanza ile entertainment nyinyi ndio illuminati iko nyingi sana sio nipiga magoti lakini ngisema illuminati nini daudi lazima tukuombe sio kwa illuminati cuz mimi sijui baada hapo nikaenda MVC na kumbuka siku nimeenda Nigeria nimepanda ndege first time yangu international flight hata flight yani siku ya kwanza yangu kupanda flight so nimeketi na cheka tu nimeketi na Nigeria mmoja hapo ame amekuwa deported back from South Africa iwapigia <laughs> kelele niambia vile wa South Africa ni wabaya and iwapenda wa Kenya na wewe sasa hizi you are my brother naambia okay i'm also your brother so tumeketi tu nashindwa eh hey, naenda wapi Wajua tujuani kwa wale wale directors wengine kutoka Nairobi kwa mikuwa nominated pia wajijui so wajui kama ujamani wewe party ya team ambayo tumekuwa nominated nao so mimi nimeketi tu kivyangu siju mtu yote but tulipofika Nigeria naona tuje na langu Daudi na ngojewa magari yamekuja you know hao jamaa na believe wa entertainment nimeketi baze gari zinatupeleka like siamini niko wapi kwa life yangu niko Nigeria town tuazungushwa unapelekwa Echo Hotel ni wano hiyo ndo hoteli kubwa sana Nigeria kwa sababu nakumbuka siku place nimelala Raila Odinga wa huku pia wamelala <laughs> eh so mimi kuingia Echo Hotel naona kila mtu mapicha nini nasema hii life gani Kenya sijaona kama hii hata festival yetu basi ni ndogo na hao jamaa wana believe kwa entertainment mazee mapicha manini mimi nimechanganyikiwa ushaona ile world uko wacheka tu like huko ujui nini endelea so wale jamaa wa Kenya wanaambia huyo Daudi anguka oh ni wewe ah sasa wewe bwana make sure by saa 12 mimi tumekutana mimi nimechanganyikiwa nasema hotel tuapelekwa kwa hotel ngapelekwa kwa kwa room yangu mazee nimechanganyikiwa niko kwa room na cheka nasema ah ile movie nilitengeneza ambayo ni cost around 80 to 90000 nimelipia flight imenipeleka one of the best hotels imenipatia yani jina si kuamini so hiyo siku kesho yake ilikuwa ni festival tukavaa vizuri and tukaenda kwa festival hiyo siku nakumbuka naona kina Ramsey Noah the actors wa Nigeria kitambo wako hapo mbele yangu na una jina langu pia limeandikwa hapo Daudi Anguka place nitaketi huko mbele Ramsey Noah so nilikuwa like okay hii ndo life hii <laughs> ndo life nini nyingine nahitaji but yani nimejisahau paka nasema sia cuz tumeketi paka siku na place nimeketi kuna i think ni mtanzania no 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 muuganda mmoja ameketi kando na mimi akaniambia ya brother i've been to this festival for, this is my five uh, my fifth time but i've never won eh hao jamani corrupt believe you me hakuna kitu tunaenda kuwin wanatuleta tu hii ni vacation So mimi hiyo mimi first time yangu sijai kuja so nilimwangalia nikamwambia okay eh hey, mazee there's corruption here i don't know how these guys work but i've never won this is my fifth movie so nimeketi uh, niniyo zina niniyo zimeanza za kupea na awards different categories and i'm, I'm like okay Mungu wangu tusaidie Mungu mimi na mimi tuta mimi na mimi nita win. Uja amesema ja win siku, ta, eh, siku zake zote mara tano. Hii yangu ya kwanza mimi na mimi nimetengeneza kazi nzuri ita win. Wakati ilifika ile time yangu na unajawahi kuja ku announce siku sikia tajina langu lisikia tu anguka. <laughs> na eh ile Daudi ilipita yote kwa siamini like uja mwe sema nini? Na kila mtu yuangalia anguka nani mimi kamka eh hey! <laughs> Na watu wananiangalia, huyu ni nani? <laughs> Ama ametumwa je chukua hii award? Do you see producer wa hii project? Wa Kenya wote wako kule wanashangaa cuz place indicate mimi wenzangu wako kule wanashangaa ah huyu kijana ame win. Cuz kwa watu wote ambao tulikam nao mimi ndo nime win peke yangu. So wakati baada hapo baada ya kuwin mazeni litafutwa paka jamaa ananiambia I have my actor I am the manager eh so I was like boss ah jamaa oh, you kwa misina pesa mimi nimetoka tu Kenya nimeletwa <laughs> jamaa shan kuja this is my card make sure tumefanya kazi pamoja your project is good because baada ya festival watu walianza kuangalia zilizala ni gani so kila mtu akaenda kwa YouTube kuangalia the trailer alafu anaona like hey, in international project so wajua ma- actors wana Nigeria wako na managers so karibia managers wote wanaminkujia sasa hizo natafutwa na ma Uh, watu wa wa nini wa media kwa interview kuni interview cuz hiyo time ya kwanza nikiingia kwa hata wajui nani wapito wajua jamaa na believe kwa stars mimi naangalia tu watu wanakuwa interview hiyo time ya kwanza nikiingia but sasa hizo wameanza nifuata wao wenyewe managers wamenifuata wamenipatia card actors wamenipatia email zao na wako like 
make sure i come to kenya we work together and i niko like eh hey, nitamweza afford kweli najui kwa mimi ni hasla tu ile job tumefanya si kulipata actors walijitolea kitu nilifanya ni kuwa nili chakula na transport ndio niliwapatia so nikienda nigeria naomba mungu nasema nime win sasa hizi nikirudi brand yangu imezidi zaidi kwa sababu wakati nilikamu nakumbuka gari zilinchukua airport ushaikuwa mheshimiwa so gari zimenibeba town nzima jamaa watu wamekuja kuni celebrate wasanii nini uncle yangu cuz babangu yote time yuko na mamangu alikuwa yuko uncle yangu cuz place kwa naishi karibu kwa uncle yangu alitoka huko kifua waweza amechanganya ni pasta yani na una mtu anguja i love nini na happen like daudi ameitona gari karibu ya 10 na cuz hiyo time nikiingia tukiwa na urafiki yangu kila mtu yasema mheshimiwa watu wa pesa mheshimiwa huyo mwenye paka ujamaa apiga kile usi mheshimiwa huyo si mheshimiwa yeye na watu wako like huyu ni mheshimiwa bwana cuz gari karibu ya 10 na imekufuata imekubeba huko pale na kombe yako watu hawajui kwa ujamaa mimi na wada so baada hapo uh, baada kuzungushwa town nzima nikarudi nyumbani kurudi nyumbani nikagundua baze cuz baada kurudi nirudi na matatu nilibe <laughs> <laughs> bwana gari 12 baada kurudi nimerudi na matatu nikaenda kwa nyumba yangu hapa uniko kwa double room kalala nikasema eh sign life gani umezungushwa na gari 12 then sina pesa nzuri sasa cuz ile pesa nilikuwa nayo i think nilichip in kwa ile project kwa toa, ile pilot So funny za shukuru cuz haijakuwa rais but imekuwa ni bado naendelea najua itakuwa rais pia sijafikia hadi place hadi size place nimefika kila kitu ishakuwa sawa so, but bado tuna grow na marafiki zangu kina Haman tuna hustle nao kila siku tunasikizana tuwaomba tu eh, siku zote ni kuwa pesa zimezaingia but sisi kama vijana cuz I'm still young but na pesa imeingia ni nyingi hata mtu akisikia kwa Daudi apata hii pesa hizi amini cuz najaribu kuangalia na yeye kutafuta pati yangu plesiko but Mungu ndio ajua wapi atani atanifikisha na paka saizi na shukuru mzee kitu moja najua kwa life yangu nitafanya ni kumjengea mamangu na nawishi na maliza nyumba yake cuz nilimwambia nilimwambia kitu moja kwa life yangu yote mama ile siku nitapata pesa nitakujengea saizi ana nyumba kubwa sana siku zote wanampiga simu na baba na babangu kuwa Daudi nyumba ni kubwa kila mtu akipita hapa anaanguka na baisikeli <laughs> na mimi nacheka na feel niko proud eh? ni mwafanyia kitu wa life yao kufikiria cuz ni kitu ambacho bro wangu mbigi ndangefanya ambao alimfaitia sana bro wangu mbigi au kujua kuwa Daudi atafanya hii kitu ni pesa zote zilienda kwa my bigger brother so bado tuna grow kama AR na ninaomba support yenu ukiwa na idea usi, usi karibu kwa ofisi share na sisi ukiwa na job anytime tuko open na i think story yangu itaishia hapo asante